Have you ever been struck by an idea that was so amazing, so mind-blowing, that you just had to stop everything you were doing to pursue it? Well, that's what we're gonna do today. Can you remember the last time you discovered something totally new that you never knew existed? Well, I just found something. The Adult Cradle from the Shaker Legacy. Most people think of Shaker Styles type of cabinets, but these people made amazing places of comfort and sweet serenity for adults to gently be rocked to sleep. And I wanna experience that. <laughs> so join me as we go back in time to discover what the Shaker Legacy is all about. So the first thing I gotta do is find some wood. I'm at my supplier's and we'll see what he's got in stock. And uh, when I say supplier, I mean my dad. <laughs> Cause he mills a lot of wood for fun. Uh, let's see what he's got. This is my stack of maple from the trees the city cut down in my yard. He's got a lot of poplar here. He's also got a ton of red oak. Got a nice load of pine. Nice and flat, not very knotty. It's cradle time. Let's get this thing going. I'm super stoked. I'm gonna first run these boards through the joiner, then the planer, then the table saw, get them nice and flat and crisp and ready to go. Let's get it done. Let me just say, these boards I got are amazing. They're pine, but they're from a tree that was like 60 years old and they're so straight. This is a one by 12. Look how flat that is. And it was free to me. So let's try and make the best cradle we possibly can. Until I saw the Shaker Legacy book, I had never heard of an adult cradle. And I thought it was so rare that I could find a furniture type that I never knew existed. When I saw the photo, I thought it was so amazing. More people should know about the history and why they stopped making them. It wasn't until I had almost finished the cradle that I learned a pretty disturbing fact that made me think twice about whether or not I should have built this. I also realized there's a fatal flaw with the logic behind the design of these adult cradles, which I'll get into more near the end of the video. Because I don't have a fancy schmancy domino tool, well, or a dowel jig, or a biscuit joiner for that <laughs> matter, uh, I did this uh, spline method where I just cut a groove and cut a little piece of spline in order to get these boards lined up and make a nice strong flat panel. In regards to the cradle, the book says, quote, the shakers recognized the sleep inducing benefits of rocking motion for both children and sick adults. The shakers were a religious group that was around in the 17 and 1800s and the cradles were actually their form of a hospital bed. They also believed in celibacy, so the adult cradle seemed to be almost just as common as a baby cradle. Okay, day two. I didn't get finished all in one day, obviously, so hopefully I can knock it out today. I had a long work week with my architecture job, but I'm ready to get back at it and get this thing taken care of. So the book said that these cradles were for sick adults. And well, I have to kind of agree because I must be pretty sick to dedicate two weekends of my time to build a cradle uh, for myself. But why should babies have such exclusivity to have cradles all for themselves? I think adults should get a little bit of cradle time too. Maybe, uh, it's weird. In the limited amount of research that I did on this, I didn't find any adult cradle built after the 1890s. Not to say there hasn't been, but I couldn't find any. And I think what happened was as the shaker movement died down, other people <laughs> were just realizing the benefits of a real bed in hospitals and the tradition of the adult cradle in the shaker infirmaries died out as their religious movement was dying out. One of the things the Shakers believed in was living a pretty simple life, and that was reflected in the design of their furniture. So building this out of pine 
and using butt joints is actually pretty in line with the way the Shakers were actually building these. Now that that thing's assembled and drying, I need to figure out the rails, rockers, the pieces at the bottom. So I'm gonna look at some images of the shaker ones just to get an idea of what they look like. So this part of the build was actually a big screw up. <laughs> you can see the string there is stuck on my workbench and it was a little bit stretchy, so, so I didn't get that smooth of a curve. I'll show you more later about what I did to fix that. Baby, you give me ice and fire. So if I'm trying to smooth out a curve like this, what I'll do is I'll route the edges first because it creates less material here, so it's easier to smooth it out. And then I'll go back a second time and route the edges again. Having less material up front here lets me get through this a little bit faster and get a nice smooth curve. Okay, it's day three. I haven't been able to spend a lot of time on this, been busy with work. Even on the weekends, I only get about four hours a day typically to work in here. I think all I have left to do is put the rockers on, a little finish sanding, and then put finish on it, and we will be good to go. But we're gonna bust this thing out. We're gonna get rocking. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go. While this project started out as an innocent attempt to recreate a forgotten piece of furniture, my neighbor informed me that uh, there may be a little bit more sinister way people would want to use this cradle. And I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> you can look it up on your own, but it is uh, definitely not what I <laughs> intended uh, when I set out to build this. But the Shakers were right. It is for sick adults. But if you wanna buy it, uh, I'll have my email address below. Send me an email. All right, hold up, hold up. I was gonna paint this thing blue because I wanted to feel manly as I was rocking myself to sleep in this cradle. But then I thought, I'm a man building a cradle. I'm confident. I don't need to paint this thing blue. So I'm gonna scratch that idea, keep the natural look, keep that coffin kind of pine box look. The shakers wouldn't have painted it blue. I'm just gonna give it a clear coat. For the finish on this thing, I'm going nice and simple with this water-based polyurethane. So I'm gonna drill holes from the bottom now so I can line up the rails. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm gonna put it on the rockers for the first time. Let's see if this thing works. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. That's really rocky. <laughs> yes! Look at that thing go! Oh, that's gonna be fun. It's pretty stable. It doesn't uh, feel like it would tip over, but it's definitely got a good rock to it. And you know what the shaker said? If my cradle's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. I can't wait any longer. I just have to get in it. <laughs> mm, that's nice. Hey, you definitely wouldn't want to do this if you were drunk. <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta get it inside and get it all fitted with some foam padding test it out on the ground, see how it works. So it doesn't actually rock super well. I need to redo these rails and give it less of a radius so it rocks a little bit better back and forth. So just cutting these out on the bandsaw, 
I don't think I got the curve smooth enough and it's too big of a radius. It doesn't rock back and forth super well. So I'm gonna come up with a jig to get a smoother curve and do a little bit tighter radius. Okay, I think I got the rails redone. Let's reattach them and see if this thing rocks a little harder. Softer. We're going for soft rock, so let's try it out. So the fatal flaw with this furniture is that cradles are designed to be airlifted in and out of. And so if you're sick, uh, if you haven't died of consumption, you're gonna definitely split a stitch trying to get out of this thing. <laughs> So before I do the final shots, I did want to say one thing I think I could do better. The cradle turned out awesome and it's so smooth, it's so nice, I love rocking to sleep. But if there's one thing I still want to do with it, I want to make a self-rocking mechanism because I'm a man, I don't want to rely on anybody else to rock me to sleep. I'll figure out a way to do it myself. Part two. It's okay, I'll rock you to sleep. You know, it's not perfect, but things don't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Well, if you guys enjoyed this content, please consider hammering that subscribe and like button. I have a lot of other fun builds coming up. Thanks for watching. Y'all are awesome. Now get out. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Oh my gosh. <laughs>